Hey friends, today I'm sharing swatches of Mooncat's latest collection, Return of the Faves, which features six re-release shades to celebrate their one-year anniversary. There's two multi-chrome flakies and four magnetic polishes in this collection, so I have a combination of both sunlight and indoor slash studio light swatches for you today, so let's just get into them. Starting with the multi-chrome flakies, the first one I'm sharing is Super Villain, the 2.0 version of Bebop, which features black multi-chrome flakies in a clear base that shift from indigo to purple, and there's also some small holographic glitters in here. So I unfortunately don't have the original Live Love Polish versions for proper comparisons for these, but looking up some swatches online i think the colors are more or less the same it's really just reformulated so onto the formula i found it to be a little bit thick which i imagine is because it is just absolutely packed with those flakies it did give good coverage on the first coat like it wasn't sparse enough that it can be a topper but you'll definitely need at least two or even three coats to make this fully opaque. I'm showing two coats here since I didn't think I needed a third coat, but I also just didn't want to apply a third one to avoid it getting even thicker. Formula aside though, this one is super sparkly and I really love the colors and the hollow in this. The other multi-chrome they brought back is Jam Session, which has been fittingly renamed to Dragon Scales. So this one is a black multi-chrome flaky in a clear base that shifts from magenta to lime green and gold, and it also has those small holographic glitters as well. So since it's the same formula as Super Villain, I pretty much had the same experience with this polish and application where it was a little thick because of how packed this is with the flakies and glitters. I was able to get away with two coats here, but again, you might need a third to cover up any bald spots. I also didn't find these to dry down textured or difficult to remove, but to be fair, I removed my swatches immediately after, so I could see some flakies potentially sticking to your nail if you wore them for longer. This one was also super sparkly, and I think it has an even more vibrant multi-chrome effect than Super Villain, but maybe that's just me. Now onto the magnetics, the first polish I'm sharing is Smokescreen, which is the 2.0 version of Stellar Halo. So it's a medium gray base with a strong pink magnetic pigment that shifts to orange and even to yellow and green in more extreme angles. And it also has these tiny micro holographic glitters as well. So this one had a bit of a crowley formula, but it was really easy to apply and provided great coverage on the first coat, so I only needed two coats for full opacity. I think magnetic polishes tend to be more on the jelly side, but I'm pretty sure I saw Mooncat mention somewhere that they reformulated these to be more fuller coverage, so that's why they're a little bit more on the crelly side. So to be totally honest, at first I really wasn't feeling this color. I thought it was a little boring, but I really love the shimmer. The next shade is Malevolent, the 2.0 version of Continuum. So this is a black magnetic that shifts from purple to pink and has gold holographic glitter sprinkled throughout. So the formula is a little bit of a crelly base as well, and it was nearly opaque for me on the first coat since it's black, <laughs> but I still would recommend doing a second coat for full coverage. Or you could try layering this over a black cream. This one is absolutely stunning. I think it's so great for galaxy nails if you're not into doing nail art. And I know it's over, but this is like such a perfect spooky season polish, so I don't know, maybe it could work for Scorpio season too. Next up we have Apparition, formerly known as Optic. So this is another black base magnetic polish, but this one has a subtle blue shimmer and a silver magnetic pigment. So like the last polish, this one had a really nice formula that was smooth to apply and nearly full coverage due to the black base but I still did two coats for full opacity. So like I mentioned with Malevolent, I think you could definitely do one coat of this 
over a black cream and it'll look really nice it just won't have the same depth but it'll at least save you some time especially if you want a full magnetic mani so this ended up being a surprise favorite for me at first i kind of thought it was too simple i don't know it just didn't really wow me kind of similar to smokescreen but I just really love that silvery blue shimmer in this black base. But of course, I saved my absolute favorite for last. This is Velvet Rose, the 2.0 version of Crystal Rose. So this is described as having a dusty pink base with a silvery pink magnetic pigment filled with micro holographic glitter. And I don't know why the website doesn't mention it, but there's very clearly flakies in the bottle as well. So this one had a really good formula, just like the other magnetics. The base is like a medium dusty pink, so it creates a really nice contrast to the silver magnetic pigment and the specks of hollow. This is one of those polishes that I actually still love in one coat, even though it's not full coverage. I just love how soft the pink base looks. I still did two coats to build it up to opacity. And I think it looks really, really beautiful. I love the sparkle. You know I'm here for a sparkly pink shade. But the flakies that I mentioned seeing in the bottle didn't really show up on my nails. So it's a little weird, but still beautiful. Now onto the comparisons. We're starting with Malevolent. And I'm showing it next to Mooncat's Black Flame Candle from their Hocus Pocus 2 collection. So they definitely have a similar vibe with the black base and purplish magnetic pigment, but they're not dupes since Malevolent has the gold holographic glitters and Black Flame Candle has the purple flakies and it's more of a pink shimmer as well. As of recording, Black Flame Candle is still on their website for pre-order, but I'm not sure how much longer that'll be, so I do think Malevolent is a great alternative. Next for Apparition, I'm going to be comparing it to Mooncat's Apollo from their very first collection after the rebrand, Ode to Luna. They might look similar in the bottle, but Apollo is a deep midnight blue base and not black like Apparition. They both have a really similar soft blue shimmer, but the color of the magnetic pigment leans a little bit warmer in Apollo. I feel like you can see it kind of looks a little bit yellowy, so... These are definitely very similar, but not dupes. And lastly, for Velvet Rose, I'm going to be comparing it to Bay from Cirque Colors, which was also recently re-released. So I thought that these would be much closer in color, but the Mooncat shade is obviously a little bit deeper and warmer. And formula-wise, they're also a little bit different, where you can see Bay is more of a jelly finish, and Mooncat has more of that holographic sparkle throughout as well. So that wraps up my comparisons and swatch and review for Mooncat's Return of the Faves collection. As always, I would love to know what you think about these shades and if you're happy with the ones that they brought back. I really do like this lineup and I just love that they brought back some shades from before the rebrand. I mentioned this in the summer that I actually really like the idea of re-releasing shades, especially when it comes to ones that were limited edition or just discontinued, like their new Dearly Departed section on their website. I totally understand at some point a brand will have to unfortunately let some polishes go, either because they don't sell well or for inventory slash storage reasons but I do hope it means they'll make a return sometime in the future. These polishes though are thankfully here to stay, but let me know what you think down below so we can chat about it. And thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!